Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and I have for you today episode 4.12 of the video series Satan's Powers and What to Do About Them by Alice B. Claggett. This episode 4.12 is entitled Devil. Satan is variously described as the devil, as father of lies, and as a murderer in John 8, verse 44. Here's the King James Version, which is public domain. Ye are of your father the devil, and the lusts of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar, and the father of it. Here's my commentary. Sometimes the devil is a name for one of the heavenly hosts that fell in Satan's company. Sometimes, as in the above passage, it is used as a synonym for the word Satan. I have for you some images. The first is of Satan, who is often depicted as a man with wings. Next, I have an image of the Assyro-Babylonian demon king Pazuzu, and then a, a picture of a two-legged but non-human devil, and then an image of a reptilian star being whose mental influence might be said to create in humankind those hybrid humans ruled by their reptilian mind rather than by their socialized mind. It seems to me there might have been a blending down through time of the human and non-human images of Satan so that the idea of Satan came to mean a human being who acted non-human or who might have been influenced by non-physical, non-human beings to behave in an unsocialized manner, which is to say, as an anti-social personality. The first image is Satan by one of my favorites, Gustave Doré. It's an illustration from John Milton's Paradise Lost, 1866, found in Wikimedia Commons and public domain. Here is Satan looking a lot like a soldier with wings. With an anguished expression on his face, my guess being that he may have just been cast out of the heavenly host just lost that battle. You can see though from this picture he's mainly human in aspect. Next I have bronze statuette of the Assyro Babylonian demon king Pazuzu about 800 to 700 before the Christian era. A photo by PGHCOM 2007 Wikimedia Commons Creative Commons license. This is a picture of a man, looks to me with no clothes on, and a strange protuberance or hat on top of his head, an evil expression, one hand raised and the other hand lowered, but both looking rather uh, ferocious. And it looks like maybe wearing boots that look like the, the uh, feet of birds. And the wings are odd. They're, each wing is two parts. I'll show you. A demon king. It's quite a striking statue, isn't it? 
doesn't look like such a nice guy. Ferocious, evil, strong, mean guy with the ability maybe to fly through the air or with astral abilities or maybe a being that is on the astral plane and not the physical plane. And this is odd, this, this strange thing here on top of his head, isn't it? See the, the face? That rough scowl. King Pazuzu, a demon. Then I have depiction of the devil giving magic puppets to witches from Agnes Sampson trial. The author is unknown. It was 1591. This is in Wikimedia Commons, which is public domain. And there is something of a resemblance in the darkness of the demon and the feet of the demon. I see this one has a tail. And these puppets might have to do with the practice of voodoo. There are also strange looking birds flying about in the air, making loud noises, it looks like. Maybe crows or ravens. Here's the picture. See the similarity to the last picture. Look at the feet, the figure itself, rather similar with the wings. It has horns instead of just one protuberance on top of its head. The face is rather similar. And then there are those strange flying beings, maybe birds, cawing in the, in the air. Well, here's the last thought I had about that. This is a drawing I made after an image I saw online of a statue. My drawing is called Reptilian Star Beings, Lizard Man 2, by Alice B. Claggett, 27 May, 2021, Creative Commons. Drawn after a sculpture for which I have no attribution. So I couldn't figure out who it was by, but it was a very good sculpture. Reptilian Star Beings, Lizard Man 2. There are two ideas about this, this image. One is that a man who depends only on his reptilian mind seems uh, to be more like this as far as the way that he faces the world is concerned. So it could be a man who's a hybrid, who looks human but acts non-human. It might also be a star being that's reptilian. And so it might actually have this form on the astral plane. It might be, for instance, the deva of a, a group in the reptile kingdom. And so it might look very much like the beings that it over, oversees and whose path it lights on earth. So those are all possibilities. Uh, assuming that the devas of occult lore in general might have something to do with what the um, light workers are talking about today as reptilian star beings or non Christed star beings. That's all for now. Regarding the devil, God bless you all and keep you safe and be with you through all your days. <laughs>